Why is working capital so important? It's because working capital represents the operating activities of the company and the inflow and outflow of cash to fund operations. Working capital is therefore considered the lifeblood of the company. Let's consider a very simple example of a company that only does four things. The first thing this company does is it buys inventory. Then, it pays for that inventory some time period after receiving it. Finally, it sells the inventory to its customers. And lastly, it receives payment from its customers for those goods that were sold. This is the working capital cycle for a simple company. Now let's look at what accounts are affected on the balance sheet for each of these activities. The accounts that are affected include the inventory account, the accounts payable, and the accounts receivable. Step one for this company would be that as soon as inventory is purchased for a sale, it goes on the balance sheet in the inventory account. Then, assuming that the inventory is purchased on credit, meaning the company is not going to pay for it, for say 30 days as an example, an accounts payable balance will go on the balance sheet for those 30 days. It's only when the company actually pays for the inventory and clears out the accounts payable balance that the cash outflow occurs. Now, on the other side of this diagram, when a product is sold to a customer, assuming that the customer buys it on credit, then an accounts receivable balance goes on the balance sheet when the inventory goes out. It's not until the customer actually pays for the good and the accounts receivable balance disappears that the cash comes in for that good. The period of time between when the cash goes out and when the cash comes in is known as the working capital funding gap. Managing this working capital funding gap is a critical process for a company. Understanding that cash is king, a company wants to leave cash in the company as long as possible and reduce the funding gap to be as short as possible. Let's look at the three main working capital accounts again and the inflow and outflow of cash. A manager of a business asks themselves, how can they manage accounts payable, accounts receivable, and inventory in a way that reduces the working capital funding gap and keeps cash on the balance sheet for as long as possible? Let's use a simple example to analyze the situation. If a company was able to negotiate better terms with its suppliers, meaning it could take longer to pay them, and at the same time it was able to shorten how quickly its customers paid for the products and services that it sold, what would happen to the company's funding gap? Would the funding gap increase or would it decrease? Let's look at the timeline to see what actually happens. As you can see, the distance between the cash paid out and the cash received is shortened. Therefore, the funding gap, in fact, decreases. Some things to manage the funding gap then include things like managing payments to suppliers and delaying them as long as possible. This could include renegotiating contracts with them and trying to get better terms. Another strategy is to incentivize customers to pay faster. This means that cash is received more quickly. And finally, for inventory management, moving to a just-in-time system where inventory is ordered as needed as opposed to being stockpiled and potentially becoming obsolete, as well as tying up capital for a longer period of time. So by using these three strategies in conjunction as appropriate for the type of business that you're managing, these three strategies can all help reduce the working capital funding gap and improve cash flow for the business.